and another um, brand that's come back on the scene after a, a short hiatus from reviews, certainly on AV forums, and it was Pioneer. Um, they've got a new uh, distributor, um, new PR behind them. Um, they reached out and said, do you want to have a look at the Alex 505, which Doug did. And what did you think, Doug? I thought it was very good. Um, it's it's a bit of a, it was the first time I've ever reviewed a Pioneer. It's the first time I've ever had a Pioneer uh, actually to play with. I've, I've played with pretty much or owned pretty much every other OVR uh, manufacturer's product, but I've never had a Pioneer. So I was really looking forward to uh, having a go with it. And on the whole, I thought it was excellent. Um, for the money, you're getting an absolute ton of features in there. Um, it's nine powered channels, 11 channels of processing with two subwoofer outputs. So there's enough in there for pretty much most rooms. Um, it's spec'd at 120 watts per channel, two channels driven, or I've, although I've seen independent measurements that do cast some doubt on that, but in my listening, it went plenty loud enough for me. Um, although I do have relatively sensitive speakers. But the real, um, really interesting feature um, is that it supports both Pioneer's homegrown room EQ, which is MCACC, um, as well as Dirac. Um, so it's part of the sort of new generation of AVRs that have both their homebrew room correction, but then they've also paid for the licensing for Derek as well. Um, so you can make an interesting comparison between the two room correction approaches, um, which I did. Um, and I've got to say, uh, Derek rather left Pioneer's approach in the dust. Um, I, didn't, I didn't get on with Pioneer's approach at all, but as soon as I put Derek on, um, it, it performed excellently and it sounded great. Um, I mean, I've, I've certainly heard better sounding AVRs um, with with sort of a better Dirac implementation. Um, but what you have here, and certainly for the price, is truly excellent. Um, and one of the very interesting things about their Dirac implementation is, unlike every other implementation I've seen, you don't require an extra laptop to to run it on with an external mic this uh, has a microphone supplied in the box which plugs into the front of the avr much like odyssey's approach and then you run direct on a mobile phone so quite similar to the odyssey app approach uh, and it it makes direct accessible for people <clears throat> people who don't want to fuss around too much and tweak too many things and i, I I think I probably fall into the inveterate tweaker category and probably quite a few people watching this do. Um, but it, it, it genuinely made Dirac's capabilities really accessible and really quick uh, and really user friendly. And it's the first time I've seen that. So on the whole, um, I thought it was a very good AVR at its price point. Um, it does come up against the Denon uh, AVCX 3800, which is very similar, similarly specced, although it doesn't have Dirac just yet. That's coming out later in the year. Um, and it would be a very tough choice deciding in between those two, I would say. Yeah, it seems to be at a price point, which used to be a, um, a wash with models, but the, there seems to be very few in that price area. You know, a lot of manufacturers aiming for a, a bit higher up the range these days, obviously looking for a return on their product, but um, it sounds like a, a, a good all-rounder. Yeah, yeah, it was a good all-rounder. And certainly if you're, you're into streaming services, um, this is pretty much everything under the sun. I think the compatibility with everything I can think of. But no Cobas, um, but everything else is there. Mm. Room compatibility compatibility or the other usual suspects it's it's very well specified excellent uh, so you want it more uh, on Doug's review there than it is up on the website uh, it's still on the homepage actually so if you want to uh, get in a little bit more detail on that product you can do that through Doug's review thank you very much Doug <laughs>